Welcome in uh, the uh, third part of the tutorial devoted to um, an introduction about C2A. In this module we are going to see um, how to quickly select a catalog to be displayed um, in the current maps and uh, we are going to see what are the two types of view which are proposed by C2A and how to quickly switch uh, from one view uh, to another uh, using uh, typically keyboard shortcuts. So the uh, easiest way uh, to select uh, the uh, current star catalog and current deep sky object catalog to be used in the map is uh, simply to uh, perform uh, anywhere in the screen a right mouse click and at the same time uh, pushing the uh, shift key on the keyboard. And uh, as you can see, we get a full list of catalogs uh, that uh, we can use uh, as a current catalogs either for stars or deep sky objects. We have also the capability to uh, toggle the display of the solar system as well as the user catalogs and dynamic catalogs that we will see in a further uh, tutorial. So here, let's say that I want to select uh, the uh, TICO2 catalog um, obviously, the TICO2 catalog is not displayed simply because the uh, zoom level is just too high. Uh, we would have uh, far too many stars um, into that view uh, at that zoom level. So as you can see, we still have the SAO catalog which is displayed, but it is forced as uh, indicated by the red background here. But if I zoom in enough uh, into the map, uh, I will finally uh, have the uh, TICO2 uh, catalog displayed. So let do, let's do that. I'm still uh, just a little too high. And here we go. Uh, at the zoom level, uh, I have uh, 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 the field of view is uh, small enough to display the uh, TICO2 catalog. So I just, I can now uh, double click an object and I can check that this is a TICO2 object as also this, it is indicated here at the uh, top right corner of the map. Another way uh, to quick to, uh, to um, select the current catalog is uh, to go into the option dialog box. Uh, F7 is a short uh, shortcut for uh, displaying the uh, dialog box. I go then into the uh, stars uh, tab and here I can also select uh, the current catalog. I can display the guide star and now I have a guide star object as mentioned here. I can do exactly the same thing uh, for uh, the deep sky objects. As you can see and there are quite a few galaxies into the uh, PGC catalog. Mm. Okay, so now uh, Let's understand what are the two types of view uh, to be uh, displayed in C2A. You have either a horizon view or a field view. An horizon, uh, an horizon view uh, is uh, orientated in such a way that the uh, closest horizon point is at the bottom of the screen. So this is pretty uh, easy to understand. Uh, let's see that uh, I want uh, to, zo to zoom on the uh, unicorn here, you will see that the constellation is oriented in such a way that the closest horizon point is at the bottom of the screen. Really easy. Then there is a second uh, type uh, of uh, map which is a field view and in the field view uh, the north by default is always at the top of the screen. So when I'm going to switch to a field view as you can see the uh, uh, map is oriented in such a way that the north is at the top. I can, if I want, uh, apply a rotation or a symmetry uh, to the map simply by using that uh, uh, control in the toolbar, in the secondary toolbar. And here I have a 45 um, uh, rotation that, can, that I can then remove. So you will note that uh, field view has that small symbol with that uh, yellow mark in direction of the north and uh, an horizon view 
as that symbol uh, with uh, uh, the azimuth of uh, uh, the closest horizon point. So let's see uh, now how to quickly uh, switch between the uh, field view and the horizon view. Uh, let's say that I'm going to zoom here. If I want here, I'm, I am in a field in an, in an horizon view. If I want to uh, go to a field view, I just type F on the keyboard, and as you can see, uh, the orientation is now different, and I have the field symbol here. If I want to go back to the horizon view, I just type H on the keyboard. Really easy. There are four uh, keyboard shortcuts which are really useful to go quickly to a view of the horizon in uh, an horizon type of view. Uh, this is S for South, West, North and East. So S, uh, South, East, West and North, as you can see uh, with a small label here. And again, uh, the uh, symbol here is always updated with the closest uh, azimuth uh, value. Something very important to know also is uh, uh, S, W, N uh, and E with capital case, uh, which allows you to uh, display also a south and uh, north, west and east view. But uh, by bringing the uh, venit of uh, the sky at the center of the screen. So as you can see, S brings a south view, and here I have the zenith of the sky, which is bring to, to the center of the screen. Same for north, east, and west. I'm still in a um, field type of view, and if I use the uh, small Z uh, on my keyboard, I will display um, a view uh, with the zenith at the top of the, uh, at the center of the screen. But uh, for that shortcut, I'm going to get a field view uh, rather than an horizon view. Something uh, quite useful also is the uh, capital D uh, shortcut, which is going to display a global view um, similar to what uh, we uh, get usually with the uh, uh, planisphere that we use to, uh, to uh, recognize constellation in the field um, with uh, the uh, south uh, direction at the bottom of the screen. A very important shortcut also is the G which, al which allows you to display a global view uh, with a field type and the value of the field which is used is uh, defined into the option dialog box you go uh, into the uh, field tab and this is where you can define uh, the global value of the field when you use the uh, G uh, uh, key uh, shortcut. Let's say I want 200 degrees. I type G again and here now I have a 200 degree view. If you uh, go back into the uh, um, field the tab and want to have a full field uh, visible then uh, what you can do is this and now you can see uh, all the uh, horizon which is displayed that's it for uh, that third part uh, uh, of the uh, introduction tutorial to C2A thank you and talk to you soon